some more recently acquired Hot Wheels C and D case cars, and a lonely F case. Stick around, we're gonna rip into them. What's up friends, Brandon here, you're watching the Scale Racing Channel, coming to you with another From the Pegs to the Track video, and this time we're gonna be taking a look at some more C and D case cars from 2021 and the Low Lux in there. Uh, recently found yesterday, uh, F case. We're gonna open them up, weigh them in, take a good look at them, and then we're gonna send them down the track dry, revisit them with a little bit of graphite, and see how they do with lube. First car we're gonna take a look at is a 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. In the back. Ah yes, the gasser. Weighing in at 36.9 grams. This is a Brandon Vitusky design, originally released in 2013. We've seen a lot of variations of this one. This one has the Triassic 5 tampa work going down the sides. You do have some pinstriping go around the edges of the body as well. Uh, tampo work on the top is in white. Kind of a satin green coloration. Of course, you've got your engine sticking up out of the engine bay with no hood. Five spoke wheels in gray. Slightly greened window glass with a chrome plastic interior. And the front grille is also chrome. Of course, you've got the chrome header pipe sticking out right below the body, right behind the front wheels. And this is a metal body with a black plastic base. Next up is a 1970 Chevy Chevelle. Back of the card. The Chevelle weighing in at 36.7 grams. This one, a June Amai design, also from 2013. And I will say this is my favorite Chevelle casting that Hot Wheels makes. I love how it is extremely wide, sits nice and low. This one with a very nice paint job. It is a gloss cranberry color and it does have some cream colored racing stripes going down the top. Plus you've got some black tampos and cream tampos going down the side. The number 70 in the roundel on the door. Not gonna get anything in the front as far as tampo work goes. Same business going down the other side. Nothing in the rear. Nice big cowl induction hood on this car. Clear window glass with a chrome and a black interior. This does have the D8 wheels with the white ring going around the outside. It's got a metal body with a gray plastic base. Next up, the 57 Chevy. In the back. The Chevy weighing in at 37.3 grams. This one dates all the way back to 1977, originally designed by Larry Wood. Seen quite a few different variations along the way. This one in a matte red coloration. You do have white tampa work on the top and the sides. Clear window glass with a black interior. Does have the five spoke wheels with the white wall treatment going on on them. The grill in chrome. Side pipes and the rear bumper also in chrome. Metal body. The chrome plastic base. Next up is 1963 Studebaker Champ. So look at the back. This truck weighing in at 42.7 grams, originally designed by Phil Reelman in 2011. And this is one badass truck. Love the tampos on this one. Gloss black base paint. You got the checker tampos going down the top with some gold, red plastic bed cover. Same tampo configuration going down the side. You got a number 63 in the uh, number plate. Got Studebaker on the top of the bed. Some other sponsors on the side as well. No detail work in the grill. 
or in the tailgate section. Slightly smoked window glass, does have the red interior. The red interior also makes up this bed cover in the back. Five spoke wheels with the chrome ring going around the outside of them. Metal body, the gray plastic base. The Mercedes-Benz 500E. Thirty-six and a half grams on the Mercedes, designed by Lindsay Lee last year in 2021. We've already seen a couple different color variations so far. The red looking really, really good. The red is supposed to be pretty quick. Dale over DXP has had some pretty impressive runs with these Mercedes cars, so we're going to give this one a shot. Very crisp tampa work. Looks really good in the front. Nothing going down the sides, and then you've got your detail work in the back. Slightly smoked window glass, black plastic interior, five spoke wheels in chrome, metal body with a gray plastic base. Next up, the 67 Ford GT40 Mark IV. To the back. GT40 weighing in at 33.3 grams. Another Rio Asada design released last year. I think we've seen two color variations of this car so far. The Gulf coloration is the one we're taking a look at now, and it looks good. It comes in the light blue gloss. You've got the number nine in the roundels on the top and the sides. Of course, you've got your typical Gulf orange striping going down the top and sides as well. And your headlights are gonna be inserts. Same material as your window glass. Slightly smoked, looks like it's got a dark gray plastic interior. Taking a look at the front, looks like we do have some detailing in the casting behind the uh, headlight lenses, which is a pretty nice touch. And you're not gonna get any tampa work in the rear. Got kind of a uh, copper colored five spoke wheel, metal body with a light blue plastic base. Next up is the custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. Look at the back. The Integra weighing in at 32 grams. Another Ryu Asada design first released in 2016. And this one in a very, very nice metallic green. Slightly smoked window glass, dark gray plastic interior and you've got some tampos going down the side of the car. Nothing in the front, same business on the other side, and a fully decoed rear end on this guy. Does have the PR5 wheels with the chrome rings going around the outside. Metal body with a gray plastic base. And the last car we're gonna take a look at out of this mix is the Lolux. This one coming out of the F case, The Lolux weighing in at 32.5 grams. This is a Sunny Fisher design, released as a new casting in this case. Coming to us with the gloss red, you've got tampa work going down the top in orange and white, nothing on the sides. Pretty interesting design here. You've got the uh, engine back behind the cab, two stacks coming out the top and a roll cage encompassing the whole thing. And that plastic goes all the way back to this rear wing. Low cut doors on the side, uh, slightly smoked window glass, black interior, and headlights and grill assembly are also made of that same smoked glass. Big chrome plastic bumper. You've got the 10 spokes in white in the front and the five spokes with the white ring in the back. Metal body, a chrome plastic base. Okay, this part of the video is gonna be really difficult for me. I usually tell you which one is my favorite out of this bunch. And honestly, there's four cars on here that as far as I'm concerned, they all hit it out of the park. Uh, Mercedes over here on the left, looking really good detail wise. Um, this is interesting. I, I don't know about this guy. We'll have to see how he rolls. Studebaker, man. 
looking good. Camaro looking badass. Of course, you can't discount the gasser and of course the GT40 with the Gulf. I, I'm honestly, I'm not gonna be able to make a pick on this one. Um, <laughs> winners, tell me down in the comments below which ones you think look the best out of this collection and good luck with that one. Let's go ahead and get them on the racetrack. All right, here we go. We got eight cars in total, so I'm gonna split the field. We're gonna run four at a time. I wanna see two distinct victories in order to declare the victor. And the winner of this one will go up against the winner of the next four. And those two will go head to head to find out who the dry run winner is. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, it's looking like the Integra. Oh. Taking that one by a wheel over the Mercedes. All right, lanes are swapped. Everybody moved over one lane to the right, except the Integra. He's now in lane number one. On your marks, get set, go. And he's gonna pull it off again. Looks like the Acura is the fastest car out of this group. Let's go ahead and run the other ones off. A lot of good looking cars in group number two. Let's see how they do. On your marks, get set, go. Oh boy, looks like the gasser. Taking the overall win in that first heat. And that poor Chevelle not doing very well. Oh well. Let's swap them up. Lane just swapped the gasser, has a win under its belt. On your marks, get set, go. And I do believe. That was a race between the 57 Chevy and the 55, but I think the gasser took the overall. Let's go ahead and check the video. Yes, indeed, that was a win for the 55 gasser. So we're gonna put him up against the Acura Integra. Fine marks, get set. Gas with a little bit of a hole shot, but. <laughs> but the Integra driving them around them on the big end. Lane just swap the Integra with one wind under its belt. On your marks, get set. Let's see, 2355 to a 2365. Not bad times, honestly. Integra taking the overall victory for the dry run. And I must say, I am very impressed by the performance of that 55 gasser. Usually they don't do too swell. Let's get some dust on. Much, much later. Okay, we're back. All the wheels have been worked with graphite and this is the order that we're gonna run them out. We're rolling rocket rounds, so the fastest time after lane swaps We'll advance that car onto the next round. And you're probably wondering what the heck was going on with that Chevelle up here. Well, let me show you a picture real quick. There was a pretty good chunk of body flashing that was actually hanging off the upper wheel well that was digging into that front wheel. I should have checked it before I ran them down dry, but that's how it goes sometimes. Went in there with an X-Acto blade 
got it all cleared out, rolling good. We'll see if it does any better this time. First two cars up, we got the troubled Chevelle in lane number one and the GT40 in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Chevelle slow out of the blocks, making the pass 2383 to a 2395. So the Chevelle is revived. Lander swap, the GT40 needs to beat a 2383 to advance. On your marks, get set, go. And it's the Chevelle all the way down 2368 to a 2424. And I think we have a problem on the GT40. I think that bottom side skirt on the body actually comes in contact with the track side a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of feel them dragging just a little bit, giving them a nice little drag break all the way down the track. Chevelle takes both of them. He's moving on. Next up, we got the Lolux in lane number one and the Studebaker in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Studebaker, 2321 to a 2340. So the Studi rips off a fast one. Lanes are swapped, the Lolux needs to beat a 2321 to stay in it. On your marks, get set, go. And the Studebaker with longer legs, 2329 to a 2342. Studebaker moves on. Next pairing, we got the Mercedes-Benz in lane number one and the dry run winner in lane number two, the custom Acura Integra. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, the Mercedes loves the dust. 2329 to a 2367. Wow, Mercedes blowing away the Integra. Landry Swap, the Integra needs to best a 2329 to stay in it. On your marks, get set, go. Not gonna happen. 2330 to a 2359. So evidently the Mercedes just need a little bit of speed dust. He'll be moving on. And the last pairing for round number one, we got the 55 Gasser in lane number one and the 57 Chevy in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Here the 57 Chevy go. 2321 to a 2365, wow. 57 Chevy taking that one easily. Lane just swapped the 55 Gasser needs to beat a 2321 stay in. On your marks, get set, go. 57 Chevy, 23, 27 to a 23, 63. 57 Chevy moves on. Round one is done, winners on the right, losers on the left. First race of round number two, we got the Chevelle in lane number one and the Studebaker in lane number two. What a beautiful matchup. On your marks, get set, go. Studebaker, smoking the Chevelle, 2313 to a 2396, holy cow. Studebaker just found another gear. Laser swap, the Chevelle needs to be a 2313 in order to move on. On your marks, get set, go. Smoked him again, 2316 to a 2364. Studebaker moving on to the final. Second race for round number two, we got the Mercedes Benz in lane number one and the 57 Chevy in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Look at that, 57 Chevy, 2315 to a 2325, wow. 57 Chevy, pulling it out. Landry swap the Mercedes needs to be to 2315 and move on to the final. On your marks, get set, go. 57 Chevy all the way, 23, 23 to a 23.38. 57 Chevy taking it. I'll be going on to see the Studebaker. Race final, we got the Studebaker in lane number one and the 57 Chevy in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. That's oh, a good race. That's the Studebaker, 2319 to a 2323. Studebaker taking it by four thousandths. Landry Swap, the Chevy needs to be a 2319 to take the overall. On your marks, get set, go. It's tight. <laughs> 
2314 to a 2319. So there you have it, Studebaker taking the overall win from these eight Hot Wheels cars. Let's go ahead and find out who has the last spot on the podium. It's the Chevelle in lane number one versus the Mercedes-Benz in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go! Yeah, that was right at a car length, 2328 to a 2369. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Mercedes-Benz the third place spot on the podium. All right, it's the 60s Studebaker truck taking the overall win out of these eight cars. And in second place, the 57 Chevy. I'm actually really uh, pleased and surprised about the performance on that car right there. Wheels on that guy worked really well with graphite. And in third, the Mercedes-Benz. So we'll take the Studebaker and put them in line with the other race winners. They'll be waiting on five more winners for the final. That's all I've got for you tonight. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all stay healthy. Have fun racing.